I appreciate a movie or DVD release that really is honest in its name, and the Kevin Smith three-movie collection is exactly that. It's a three-movie collection. These are three of Kevin Smith's films. They happen to be ones that are owned by Miramax. These are not the definitive Kevin Smith collection because it leaves out a number of his works, but it does include three of his most popular films, uh, including two of my personal favorites, Clerks and Chasing Amy. The third film in the collection is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, which I think most people will concede isn't really Kevin Smith's best work. I, I have a personal soft spot for Clerks. I remember watching it on, gosh, VHS tape, I believe at this point it was, maybe DVD, uh, when it, right after it came out on home video and absolutely falling in love with it and then taking it around to as many friends' houses as I could and sharing this fantastic little movie with people left and right. Uh, Chasing Amy represents the pinnacle of Kevin Smith's career for me. It's my favorite film of his. I think it's his most effective, most personal, most moving film, yet it's also laugh-out-loud funny. And then Jay and Silent Bob is almost kind of a guilty pleasure movie. Um, it's it's silly and it's crass and it's rude and it's crude, uh, but there's a lot of laughs in it and, you know, at some point you have to just kind of roll your eyes and accept that this is Kevin Smith doing everything he can possibly get away with in a single film. While I'm really happy to have all three of these films on Blu-ray, I can't say that the Blu-ray format does anything completely revolutionary to them. They're all pretty low-budget films, although I will say they do look better than they ever have on home video, and I've seen them multiple times in multiple formats, so I'm pretty excited to have them on Blu-ray. Uh, Clerks, of course, looks the worst. It's black and white. It's made for $27,000. Blu-ray is not going to turn this into uh, a Michael Bay-looking film, but it looks pretty clean and relatively clear, and for the most part, you really can't complain about the picture quality. The surround sound is very much the same thing. It's not uh, a movie that has a lot going on. It's mostly dialogue with some music, and that's pretty much what you get. Clean dialogue in the center channel, a little bit of music in the surrounds. Chasing Amy is in color, also very low budget. I think it was made for about a quarter of a million dollars. This one definitely gets an upgrade. The colors are brighter, the imagery is definitely cleaner than it usually has been in the past, and the film looks pretty nice overall. Of course, Jay and Silent Bob, he got a real budget, so the film looks the best, but it's still 10 years old. There's still some minor flaws here and there. A couple of moments I noticed of a little excessive grain, very little though. And um, for the most part, it's a really solid looking film. The surround sound definitely plays in more in this film. There's a lot more going on, and there's even some, some action scenes and that type of thing. So you get a chance for the speakers to get a little bit more of a workout than on the earlier earlier films. In terms of extra features, boy, hold on to your hats. There is a lot here. Uh, all of the films carry over what came with them originally for the most part. There are some exceptions to that, though, but let's start at the beginning. Um, Clerks, exclusive to the Blu-ray, you do get a new introduction from Kevin Smith. And then, believe it or not, a making of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, which may seem a little odd and out of place on a Clerks DVD. If I'm not mistaken, this was the documentary that was somehow not allowed to be put out earlier and came out as an extra feature on an independent film that was made by one of Kevin Smith's friends. Uh, so now it's on the Clerks Blu-ray. I don't know why it's not on the Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Blu-ray. Um, in addition to that, you get all of the special features from the Clerks 10th Anniversary Edition, which includes the theatrical and the first cut versions of the films, both with uh, commentary tracks. Uh, you get an enhanced playback track on the original film with trivia and cast and crew quotes. You get a lost scene that was animated for Clerks. You get MTV spots with Jay and Silent Bob. You get trailers, a music video, a restoration featurette, audition reels, a making of featurette, uh, an extra documentary, outtakes, and a 10th anniversary question and answer. And I don't think I even did all that justice, but trust me, there's a lot of extra features on the Clerks DVD. By which, of course, I mean Blu-ray. Now, Chasing Amy also includes a few new exclusive to Blu-ray features, including a commentary with Kevin Smith and producer Scott Mosier, a Chasing Amy documentary, something I've been waiting for a long time, a conversation with Kevin and uh, Joey Lauren Adams, and a 10 years later question and answer session with Kevin Smith and the cast. There's some pretty fantastic stuff, and it's kind of a treasure trove for people like me who consider Chasing Amy to be Kevin Smith's best film. You also get the original deleted scenes, outtakes, and trailer that came with the DVD when it was first released. Finally, we get to Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, which is the big disappointment of the set in terms of extra features. Keep in mind, the original was released as a two-disc set, and it had a pretty solid amount of making of material. Um, and then this one comes with simply an audio commentary by director Kevin Smith and producer Scott Mosier and actor Jason Mewes. I'm assuming that since this is the version that was already released back in 2006, it's the reason why the Clerks version 
uh, the Clerks Blu-ray has that making of Jay and Silent Bob on it, but I don't know why they couldn't just go back and fix the Jay and Silent Bob disc in the first place. So that one's a bit of a letdown, but considering it's the weakest film in the bunch, if we're going to have one that we get gypped on the extra features for, I'd prefer it to be that one anyway. So, the Kevin Smith three movie collection, accurate name, great box set if you're a Kevin Smith fan. If you're not, uh, right now these movies are only available in the box set except for Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, so you might want to wait until the single titles are available and then cherry pick the ones that interest you the most, but as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty fantastic box set that comes highly recommended for Kevin Smith fans.